Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place to go for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal is creating a YouTube thumbnail in Photoshop. A thumbnail is probably the most important recognizable visual element to your video. If it's not good or if it's boring or distracting, people aren't going to click on it. Um, it's important that if you've got a bunch of videos to keep them relevant, to have some level of branding. And here is a perfect example. I just want to show you my buddy's site. This is Steve Dotto's Dotto Tech site. Look at his thumbnails. Absolutely awesome branding. It makes sense. You can tell what they are just by looking at them. So very important to have that, that, that sense of instant recognition. It's like, oh, it's a Dotto Tech uh, video. So the cool thing is that when we go to Premiere Pro and you're in the middle of editing your video, we can start with a frame out of your video. This is the coolest part. So here we are in Premiere Pro. Let's go have a look. This is the frame that I want to be the basis of my thumbnail. Over here on the right hand side is a little camera icon and when you click on that it's going to export this still frame as an image and you get a few choices in here my recommendation for compatibility is just to grab a JPEG and then place it wherever you want you don't want to import it back into the project so I've already exported it out and I've already jumped into Photoshop and brought that in so this is the same image it's a flattened file I'm gonna add some branding to this so the first thing I want to do is maybe add some text I grab the text tool. I already have something on the clipboard. I'm creating a little fake travel site called Out and About and what to see in South Carolina, Charleston. But you can't really see this too well, so I'm going to create a gradient. And that gradient will be, um, I'll slide this underneath the text. And I'll change this gradient type or the points of the gradient and let me reverse this before I get into that there we go and bring that down just so we've got something that helps delineate the foreground and the background element in there okay click OK I'm gonna grab another element and this I'm gonna place as an embedded file and this just happens to be a transparent compass and I'll drag that and position it on here move that over there all right so far so good but there's one test I like to do one of the problems in working with Photoshop for something small like a thumbnail is you tend to create too many things or too uh, many small things that are unrecognizable once it gets down to a thumbnail so a little trick zoom all the way out so right now instead of 66 percent I'm going to zoom all the way down to 12 percent can I still read the main title absolutely I can out and about and Charleston down on the bottom right hand corner and I can see that level of branding if these are my colors the blue and white then I can check that out so that's a good way to test that thumbnail out before you actually export it out now this layer or this image rather the image size is 1920 by 1080 and it's good to keep it small enough it has to be two megabytes or under that's one of the recommendations from YouTube um, you also have to keep it in certain formats so it has to be a JPEG GIF BMP or ping uh, my suggestion is JPEG uh, pings can look pretty good but they can also be a little bit too large has to be under two megabytes and this is a 16 by 9 ratio from an HD video so that's what you want um, and I like to get this down to a resolution of 1280 click OK and now it's it's scaled it down to um, a lower uh, size rather than full HD but it's still gonna look good remember this is a thumbnail it's not going to be a full screen element so from here just choose file save as and by default with layers it's a Photoshop file so you want to save this as a JPEG and I've already done that there just click OK
and I just set this at my JPEG resolution at high, click OK, and then I'm done. All right, now let's jump into the web page. So I'll go to my YouTube page, and you can see there's the video that I've already uploaded. I get three thumbnails by default, and these can be okay, but again, if you want branding, there's no recognition uh, for branding with these at all. So I'll click on custom thumbnail and grab that JPEG, open that up. It loads inside here. As soon as it finishes uploading, and it's checking that, and there it is. I'll click Save Changes. And there's my thumbnail showing up. So really important to make sure that your thumbnails are interesting and you get a lot of pizzazz in there or branding uh, so that people recognize it. Now, I want to throw another tip out to you there. If you're, if, if you're not a designer, if that's not your background, that's just fine. I'm going to tell you the most important book that you will ever read as a non-designer to understand design because it's not an innate ability. You don't just naturally understand that. If you've ever created a business card where you have something in one thing in every four corners, you know you're not a designer. This is the book to get, Non-Designer's Design Book by Robin Williams. It is the Bible for people who don't know how to design. And when you come out of this book on the other side, you will see all the things that you probably could have done better before. Well, I really hope you found this uh, useful. If you have, please click the subscribe link to Video Reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then head on over to adobe.com and download your free 30-day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best. Mm -hmm.